Hi, this is Ava Lewis. It's January 30th, Saturday. Um, I am continuing on my five-part series. We are in part three today, and I am talking about the mental on the state of you. What I am talking about when I talk about mental, it has to really do with what your mental capacity is to be able to think about things, to process things, to actually comprehend things that are coming into your world. So a lot of that has to do with, again, part of that outside stimulus that we were talking about earlier as it relates to energy awareness, but it's also the things that you're bringing into your own world using your mental. I have very powerful thoughts. Uh, I'm a manifester. And so what that means is if I put energy into thoughts for specific things that I really want or that I would like to see happen, um, by the nature of writing them down, focusing on them, and then starting to create a plan, things actually start to manifest. And it gets escalated a lot of times when I put lots of energy and thought power into it. And literally, I've been able to bring to fruition things from a dollar amount perspective, from an item perspective, uh, from an actual event, activity, conversation, you name it, it can be manifested if you put your energy into it. And in order to do that effectively, though, is you have to have clear, concise thoughts. You also have to be free of stress and you need to be in a relaxed state and you need to be able to overcome any negativity that's coming your way. So for me, when I talk to you about your mental, it's really you checking yourself to find out how am I looking at things? Am I looking at it from a positive perspective or a negative perspective? Or am I dwelling on the fact that I might not be able to do this or I have hindrances or I have challenges because financially I'm not able to, timing it's not right, there's no plan, there's no support. You have to clear your mind of actually thinking of all the reasons why you can't do something or why uh, it is not going to work because in all honesty, you have limitless power, you have limitless ability, you have limitless possibilities, which means you can really literally do anything that you want to do. You just have to decide that you want to do it. And so for me, when I talk to you about your mental, it's really about checking yourself. And if you can't do it by yourself, get an accountability person that you can talk to and share information with about your ideas and what you want to do, and then have them give you validation back or talk to other people in whatever it is that you're doing and get their feedback. Don't be afraid to hear from somebody else what you what they see you doing because of your possibility so that's what I'm gonna leave you with today it was fast and furious because a lot of stuff is going on but take the time to relax think through write down what it is that you want and then let your mental take over and see what you can produce have a great day and I'll be chatting with you soon